And this one is called News Reporter, Change It Over to the Weather Girl. Okay. Now I'm sitting here, the television is on. I'm hearing, not listening, wanting and urging for the news reporter to change it over to the weather girl because I just cannot bear to hear the... I just fell. <laughs> I just cannot hear to bear the breaking news as it breaks me apart. Despite the fact that I'm hearing, not listening, well, that's what I tell you anyway. Because I want to appear brave and strong, but let the truth be told, is affecting me. So please, Mr. Reporter, change it over to the weather girl, because even if she talks about the wind and the rain, at least I'd bear no pain. I'd just wear an overcoat or a, or a waterproof jacket. I'd be able to hack it for the news. Nah, no way. Mr. News Reporter, don't you bear any feelings? You sit, you break news, you break me. And then you smile and talk about the football and celebrities. Wait, 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 wait. haven't you registered what you just said? Or is it part of your training package to be taught how to be so emotionless? <coughs> I try not to think less of you, but I can't help it, I do. I really do. Mr. News Reporter, you're sort of strange in the sense that you seem to bear no remorse. Of course, you continue to do what you do best, which is, which is break the news to people who appear to be less stronger than you are, because I certainly am. Can't you see that you're crushing me when you constantly talk about the hurricane in Haiti? Or the, or the knife attack murder victim of just last week and then, and then within the blink of an eye you smile and talk about something pleasant as if, as if butter wouldn't melt in your mouth as a weapon. <laughs> yeah, right. Now you spoon feed me with news of no delight and you drown me in your sorrow. So please, Mr. Reporter, please, I insist, change it over to the weather girl.